What an amazing story. What a wonderful report. Yeah. Can you imagine? We've got other okay. answers to prayer. We want to, before we pray for you today, we want sure. to build your faith by sharing with you Kathy's story. She's from Portage, Michigan. She'd been suffering with depression since last fall. She's a recent widow, and the responsibility of providing entirely for herself had become very difficult. She no longer had the money to pay her bills, faced the possibility of losing her home. She began to sob and cry daily. Last month, Kathy was watching this program, and Pat, this is what you said. There's a woman watching. Don't know if it's Kathy or somebody. You're literally sobbing now. You're so sad. You don't feel as if there's any hope, and there is hope. God is saying, I'm going to bless you. Receive that blessing and begin to praise him. That heaviness, that sadness is going to leave you in Jesus' name. Well, the very next day, a church member told Kathy that the Lord loved her and gave her an envelope with $278 in it. Mm the exact dollar amount that Kathy needed to pay her rent. It gave her faith the boost she needed. She's rejoicing and giving God the glory. Well, you know, I didn't know <laughs> Kathy, but God knows Kathy. Yeah. And God knows you. Now, here's one. Hattie, who lives in Detroit, Michigan, she had pain in her upper hip almost for a year. Last month, she was watching, and Terry, you had a word. You're having strong pain in the joint of this hip. It hampers your ability to move. Hattie wondered if that word was for her later in the day. She realized that she was no longer limping, and she was healed. Now, listen, folks, I, I'm learning more and more about God, and He is so great. You have to understand, He is so great. He created the world. His name means He who causes everything to be. He's the one who created everything, and nothing is impossible with Him. Now. Terry and I are going to pray together, and we're going to believe God for you. And nothing is impossible. I want you to believe God with us. If you want to bow in prayer, kneel in prayer, raise your hands to the Lord, and do whatever makes you happy. But right now, we're going to pray. Father, I join with my sister in Christ, and we pray for those in this audience who are suffering. There's a bowel obstruction. That thing just broke free, and you are delivered from that problem. There's an obstruction, somebody else, in the intestines. The Lord is opening that. In the name of Jesus, there's, a, there's an arm. There's a weakness in your bicep, and God is giving you muscle strength. Terry? Uh, there's someone else. You have a skin condition. It's, it's like eczema, but it's not eczema. And it's all over your head. It's very unsightly and uncomfortable. God is healing that for you. Your skin's going to absolutely clear up. Somebody, it's like there's a band on your head, like something is squeezing you, and you just, you're crying out in pain. The Lord has just set you free in the name of Jesus. Mm. Touch. Amen. Someone else with a, a chronic uh, sinus condition, you're not going to need surgery. God's healing that for you just now in Jesus' name. Right now, I just want you to lift your faces toward the Lord. I want you to raise your hands to God. I want you to thank Him for what He's done. Thank Him for the answers. Thank Him in advance for the answer. Thank Him for provision. Thank Him for love. Thank Him for everything you need. In the name of Jesus, bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all mm. He bless his holy name and forget not his benefits. Don't forget what he's done for you. He loves you. Just raise your hands and praise him. 